right. All right, Andy, get on. Guys, keep going. One, two. Good morning everybody, Kenan here, and I'm on the way to Bush Wildlife because my pal Amy, uh, the director over there, has asked me to come help her move an alligator back into its pond. It's crawled up out, uh, kind of in an area where guests of the sanctuary will be driving and walking in, and uh, she feels it's just not safe for the guests and for the alligator, so we gotta get the animal back in the pond. And if this continues to happen, this animal is gonna have to be relocated. Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's shout out goes to Bob Hutchinson. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. We're going to answer a question from one of our Patreon supporters, Ethan Dunn. And Ethan uh, asked a very timely question, uh, considering the subject of today's video is uh, alligators. He basically is asking, uh, which crocodilian are you going to get? Have you decided what alligator, uh, croc, or caiman species you're going to get at the camp? And which ones can live with turtles? Great question, man. Alligators here in the southeastern United States are uh, known to prey on turtles. The largest of the Gators. Uh, some of these large gators are definitely able to smash through the shells of turtles. In fact, you can probably find video out there uh, of these animals eating turtles. Uh, it is part of their diet. They'll eat the shell and everything. They can digest every single thing. Uh, the bone, uh, they basically like like snakes and like um, lizards, like the monitor lizards, they digest everything except bone and, uh, excuse me, except uh, feathers and the uh, fur. So they will eat turtles. So I've gotta be careful about the size of the turtles I put in the ponds with them. Now, in the alligator ponds, uh, when I do decide, or when I do get alligators, uh, I am going to get uh, alligator Mississippianus, which is the American alligator. Um, and basically, these animals that are gonna be coming to me, as you know, I like to take in animals. I'm not gonna be buying any animals, uh, any crocodilians. Uh, I have enough connections and enough people that do need to rehome these animals. But a close friend of mine has asked me to absorb his collection if and when the time comes when he passes away. Um, so it was a big honor and I'm just getting my ducks in a row. That's why I'm actually not really uh, in need of rushing to get the alligator enclosures uh, built. Uh, but I am gonna have them built and I'm gonna have them planted and designed and kind of I want them to mature uh, as we uh, move forward so that when the time does come, I'm gonna be able to take those animals. So basically I know for a fact I'm gonna be getting um, some American alligators, a pair of those. Uh, we're gonna get some spectacled caimans. Uh, we're getting dwarf caiman. Uh, and we're also getting smooth front caiman. Um, the other species that I would love to work with in the future would be the Chinese alligator and of course uh, dwarf crocodile. Uh, but there you go. So now to answer your question about what turtles I'd put in there, um, I would actually be putting in, um, I would definitely put in some animals uh, with the caiman, some turtles with the caiman, because caiman aren't going to be strong enough to really do any damage to larger turtles. So my thought uh, with the caiman would be put some of the large riverine species that I have, like my Batiger um, and my Orlidia. Uh, Fly Rivers would do well with the caiman because they're not going to get large enough to really hurt them. Um, with the American alligators, uh, they could potentially grab those turtles. Um, maybe not the giant river terrapins or anything like that, they, but you could still probably get a headless turtle, uh, which wouldn't be fun. So uh, basically, I just have to take care of that. So there's your question, Ethan. Uh, but with this video, is not even close to over. We still got to get to the sanctuary and let's get to some action right now. This is actually going to, this is a big gator. This is a big gator. <laughs> so check it out, everybody. Here's uh, Robert and Amy are here. And uh, yeah, we're going to actually have to jump them. Are we going to get them on a, we're going to have to jump them and get them on a, uh... I got rope. I got it. All right. Well, I went to Croc School at St. Augustine, so let's see if it all worked out for us. <laughs> but this looks like a big, this is definitely a male. And what happens here in the district is there's a bunch of giant retention ponds. Oh, uh, settle down, we'll get you. I like the fact we got trees here, so we'll, we're gonna He's noose him, tie him off to a tree. We'll get his tail tied off to another tree. That'll keep him from moving about. And then um, we'll have to just 
we'll try and secure the jaws, jump them. Oh, It'll God. be fun. Beautiful. Oh, God, I wish my uh, pen was ready. <laughs> I'd take that boy. That's a beautiful animal. We can take him to your house, Kevin. I would <laughs> love to. I'd love to. I just got to, all I need to do is get the fence up. But, um, so I'm going to noose him. We'll cinch him. We'll tie him off to this tree. Let him oh, do his yeah. thing. Then we'll make another another cinch knot. We're going to get his tail. And this way we can secure him. And when we got to jump him. I slept in a holiday inn last night. Going back oh, so you watch this on a YouTube video, I'm, huh? I've watched this. I've watched this. You've been watching Gator Island. Boy. No, I just <laughs> do it, man. You don't need all that rope and shit. <laughs> oh, I gotta just open that up. So bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tough guy here? We'll get a, we'll get a tough guy yep. that rope. Like I said, Do we have thicker rope? Nope. Not that boy, unless you got some. I got some home. <laughs> Jumping is way easier. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's not so tight all right guys we're good let's get off and, and uh we'll get i'll pull my truck up all right so we're gonna next see you guys when we release this fun guy all right watch yourself all right he's throwing the tape so this is gonna be supposedly a little bit easier we got a front end loader everybody get on one Going. Go on, quit moving, go on. Go, there he is. Okay, All he's right. in. Tilt it up, tilt it up, tilt it up, tilt it up. I love you too. Back, 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 back. Right. He's gonna climb right out of there. We can probably go that way and don't want to see us. Yeah. Uh, hey. All right. John, just think about how wet it may be back there as well. Yeah, can I ride up in the cockpit with him? Yeah. Hey, just think about how wet right. it is. I'm gonna go out the wrong way. Okay. No, All right, go. we got him in. We gotta, I'm gonna ride with you. Everybody else needs to come with us though. All right, so uh, John and I are gonna drive this boy to the far corner of the district and hope it gives us a few weeks of relief. But the reality is there's an even bigger gator living here. And he does not like the fact that there are other males floating about. See you guys when we drop the load. No, no, I, I got it.
Okay. Yeah. All right. So we made it. This is where he's going to go back out. Now, the reality is, guys, there's an even bigger gator out on this property somewhere. Uh, but we need to just give ourselves the most amount of time before this animal gets back on over. If I can get my enclosure built, there's a good possibility one day an animal like this might get transferred over to my facility, possibly. Uh, but that depends on the powers that be at the River District. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy undone. Hey, his leg is back. You want to get on with me again? Because yeah. I don't want to move until we get this all done. Ready? One, two, three. All right, good. Okay. Uh, if you want to get that tail rope up first, just Locking loosen it. Still yeah. fresh. There you go. You got some breath on the way here. You sure did. So why don't you go ahead and bring that rope to me? Good deal. So we're going to put the lasso through all the tapes so yep. that after we get everything released, we can pull that lasso, the last bit of the tape will come off, and everybody will be at a safe distance. Now you're going to kind of notch that tape a little bit too, right? Yeah. Just cut it. Mm -hmm. John, you can bring it out. It's in my truck. It's in my car. <laughs> I don't like having my knife on my pocket here at the plant because I may use it for something I shouldn't and then use it. Hey, now you're on tape. Now let's <laughs> get those up. All right, so at this point, the tail's free, back legs are free. Front legs are going free. Doing great, Aim. Thanks for narrating. Um, in case I ever get myself in trouble here and I need another job. Hi! It doesn't look like it is. Uh, drop my ankle. Let's not break an ankle today, Harkin. You good? Ooh, I, I know, like I know, that. I know. Did you feel that? I did. <laughs> Give him a <laughs> I don't like that. He's oh, laughing. He just, got, he just got two good breaths. I, I think I'm going that way. Uh, you're going that way. Yeah. I'm going that way. Okay. okay. Robert, you're gonna pull this tape, bud. And even if some of it doesn't come off, this is in fact yeah, it'll cut. Come off. Once it's wet, it come off. All right, guys. He is live. He's wide. up and going. One, two, three. Pull it. All right. That's fine. That'll come off. That'll come off. As long as his jaws are open, that's fine. Sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's it'll, it'll get wet. We got the pole there. Holy oh, smoke. Right yeah, let's grab the pole. Maybe I can kind of fish it off of his mouth just to give him complete freedom there. That's great. Thank you. Just to try this here. Uh, so anyway, folks. You might get it from this side easier. You think? Yeah, well, it's just you, don't know, know, you don't have anything to mess with there. There you go. There we go. Push down on it, he's fixing a move. Yeah, go ahead, make a move. Yeah. Just hold that up. You gotta watch this. John's got it. There we go. There we go. Right, everything's good. Well now. Come on, big boy. You go back in that pond now. Let him grab that pole and keep swinging it around. Alright, so there you have it folks. If you guys like what Bush Wildlife does, please go on over to bushwildlife.org and help their mission saving animals like our American alligator. They work with all native Florida species and even help out some exotic animals where people like myself will come in and give some animals a home. So go on over there, check those folks out. I want to say thanks to Amy. Travis, right? Yes, sir. Did we comply with safety? Absolutely. Excellent for the River District. John, thanks for being a country boy. Grew up here in Florida, helped us out. And as always, Robert, thanks Robert. I've stolen many an idea to build an enclosure from Robert. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be nice to animals. And uh, there you go. Good deed for the day is done. We're safe. The alligator's safe. You stop getting in fights now, buddy. We'll see you guys soon.